my class. For this video, I am going to model a hmm, a tube dress. Uh, and hopefully, this will help my mentees to create their own dress. And also, I am going to use Maya 2022. And I am also recording this live. So, I am very sorry for my grammatical error and stutters. So, without further ado, let's get started. Meow! Okay. So, actually, the dress that I'm thinking of is just a tube dress with um, above the knee skirt with a little pleats on it. So, we are going to create that right now. I am using the updated um, file CK, so be sure to use it too. Uh, the first thing we'll do is drag drop the 3D mask to our workspace. Now, after that, for safety reasons, let's just um, duplicate it by clicking Ctrl D. And then hide this mask by clicking Shift H. Oh wait, I'm sorry, Alt H. That makes it hidden. And then for the mask one, we are going to chop chop it. So select this. Uh, I'm currently on the face selection mode if you don't know what that is that's f11 i mean for face selection you click f11 so let us just delete this part because it's a true dress that covers most of the chest parts and then let's delete this part too this one and then let's delete the legs and the top part, the arms, of course, the eyes and the teeth. We don't need that. And with this, we created the top part of the tube dress. Now, I don't want any shapes for this one. Mm, let me resize the waist. I am now going to do vertex selection. Select this, hold shift, and then double click. Now, press B. B is for soft select mode and you can adjust the influence by holding letter B. So yes, okay, I want it that way. And let's click R to resize. Oh, that's too much. Let's make it big. Oh, there you go. Okay. Let's now make it too thin because the pedal doesn't like it. And then let's now go ahead and make the boobs. For the boobs, I am going to use maybe face selection mode and then lower the intensity of the soft select and then symmetry on by object X. So, so that we can select both left and the right one. And let's click W and oh, sorry. Extrude it like this, just a bit, and then let's select this, okay, just a little bit more, and then the sides, okay, now I think that's good for the boob bar of the shoe dress, the next thing we'll do is turn this off, and then turn the soft select off by clicking B, then Q, then double click, Control E. I repeat, Control E to extrude this model. So we're going to use 0.4, just the right thickness. All right, now that's looking good. Let us now unhide the mask by clicking Shift H. As you can see, it's kind of covered. But we are only going to use the first mask as a basis for our skirt. To create the skirt, just um, click this polygon cylinder. R for resizing. And then let's move it up. Okay. Let's go to wireframe mode so that we can see the top. Dun -dun. So I wanted to, you know, um, be dressed from under the bust or the boobs i might i might get 
demonetized. <laughs> Anyways, let's call it bust instead. Okay, like this one. And then for the length, let's make it a little bit longer. Okay, I think that's good for me. Now let's go back to that kind of mode. F11. And make sure it's like this. Select this. And then delete. Ta -da! The other side is deleted too. Now that I have the size, I'll have to hide this mask once again by clicking Ctrl H. So let's resize this. But we but first we'll have to cut it. So use the knife tool to cut this. Just click Ctrl. Hold down Ctrl and then tap, 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 tap. Now let's select it by vertex. And then Q. And then B for soft select. Then jump. And resize it according to the underbust measurement. Let's move it here. Let's make it thin. Okay. Mm, let's do symmetry so we could move two parts at the same time. I'm sorry. That looks good. Alright. Don't mind this because I am going to add a belt. Okay. Now that's better. Uh, let's turn off the object X. Oh, no, no, no. This will be a shortcut. Let's go to the edge selection by clicking F10. And then turn off the soft select mode. We'll click this and make it like this. Move it forward. And then W, I mean E to rotate. It's like the shortcut of shortcuts. <laughs> okay. Because I want it to be fluffy. Okay, just keep doing it like this. This video will be, um, I think, longer than what my usual videos are. And the design is on my head. I think I've seen, I mean, I think this is influenced by um, some of the references you can see on Pinterest. But I don't really know where to get the exact photo I have in my head. So let me just show you after I create it. Okay, let's move it. This, this is the last one. Tadam! Now we created somehow, somehow pleat looking skirt. Okay, now let's add more volume. No, I mean like shade, I guess. By doing this. The symmetry but if you turn on the symmetry it will save you so much time but I forgot and I turned it off so <laughs> okay mm, did I do this already okay not yet now if I click you right click and deselect it got some normal pleats on it now, uh, let's unhide the mask again by clicking Shift H. And as you can see, this part is kind of awkward. So we are going to resize it for a bit. Okay, resize it, F9. Select this part and everything under it. B for soft select. And then resize it. Let's tone it down. Like that. And then let's select this. Tone it down. Okay. I think that's okay. okay. Let me tone this down. Okay. Now 
that's looking good for me. Let me turn on symmetry once again and try to adjust this part. It's eating away the skirt too much. So, okay, that's good. That's good. Now, if you deselect it, as you can see, there are uh, mild looking pleats on it. Now, we can make it stronger by using the crease tool. F10. Uh, remove the soft select and maybe go to symmetry so that will save time. Just select the main pleats that we created and then mesh tools and then crease tool. Hold your uh, middle button and then just do it like this. Now it has thick lines on that part. Just um, go to face selection, double click, and then mesh, and then smooth. Be sure to look at the faces. Uh, I think the maximum poly count for dress for me, okay, for me is 4,000 poly count. But I'm not really sure. Uh, the ones in the studios are in tries. This one. But I personally like the faces better. Okay. Now, if I deselect this, as you can see, the pleats are now uh, defined. So, hmm. let's add more depth before um, reducing it by clicking F11. And then just randomly doing this. And then just, you know, add the random. I don't, I don't, I don't have the right word to explain what I'm doing right now. But it's like, trust the process. <laughs> I am creating pleats, uh, additional pleats that would make it kind of realistic. I swear this is going to help the dress come out pretty. But do not overdo it. Okay. Oops, be careful not to touch the skin. Or maybe other parts of the dress. Do not uh, make it overlap. And the different it is from the other side, the much better it will turn out. So be sure not to turn on your symmetry. It's best to do this r randomly. Yeah, randomly. Okay. I think we are already on the 13 minute mark for this video. I don't usually... Um, upload longer videos my longest was again I guess 10 minutes or 15 but you know the space it takes away too much but this is a better class so it's okay I am going to spoil my minties <laughs> okay now I think this is all better now all I have to do is click you Double click this and then go ahead in mesh and then smooth it once again. Now if you can see, if I deselect it, there are additional pleats on this skirt. Now after that, just click this and then mesh and then reduce. Because we'll have to reduce the polygon, it's too high. Let's just change the percentage, maybe 75%. Now our polygon is only a thousand for the skirt part, but it still retains the creases, so it's okay. Alright, now let's turn off, I mean let's hide the mask again so we could see the dress itself. Okay, let's turn it on. Then the most important detail that I am going through through my brain is the I don't know what you call that but it's it's like it restricts the dress from flowing freely and with that I'm going to hold control with the dive tool control here and then here and 
another one right here. Okay, now I'm going to go to vertex mode, Q, and then select the middle part. And then resize it, make it smaller. Like that. Be careful not to touch any skin under it. Okay, this one too. Resize it, make it smaller. Oh, wrong. Okay, let's go to wireframe so I can see it. Alright. Now, if we deselect, as you can see, there are like uh, rigs on around it. Now, we are going to harden the sides. Let's see if hardening the inner is much better. Go to mesh display and then harden edge. Now, let's deselect and look. Wow. Okay. Then the next one. Let's do it on the next one. F10 for edge. Double click and then harden edge. Now, let's kind of resize this. Uh, maybe move it a little bit up, upward. And then this one, resize it into a smaller one. Then this one, like that. Also, this one. Let's move it a little bit up. This one down. Resize it for a bit. To make it a little bit rounded. select and you done it's an interesting looking thingy <laughs> okay now let's make a quick belt for this i am afraid that we are currently on our 17 minute mark i don't like long videos okay let's resize it like this make it smaller make it downwards i'll resize it once again just keep resizing it. Let's do symmetry on F11, uh, soft select, and then adjust it however it is fitted. Okay, I think that's looking good. Let's move this a bit in there. Okay, now let's add depth to the belt. Like, mm, kind of make it realistic if that's a word. So, uh, hold control and then a oh, Y. Anyways, let's just do this one instead. And then vertex mode. This, resize it a little bit smaller and make it. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, smaller. The other one to make it a little bit smaller. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Select for a bit. All right. Now we got an interesting looking simple belt. Now to make this more hmm, form flattering dress, let's turn off the mask once again clicking control H and then <clears throat> okay let's bind this all I mean combine it all by clicking everything uh, shift then select then mesh combine now never ever ever forget to delete history the shortcut is alt shift D okay now let's resize the waist. No, it's not the waist part. Under bust part by clicking F9 and then double click this and then B. Oh, let's tone down the influence. Resize it a little, little, little bit smaller. Okay, that's good. Me likey, likey. Alright. Now we have our very own shoe dress. I think that looks good. <clears throat> and it got poops on it. <laughs> now don't forget to add shorts because this will get rejected if it doesn't have shorts. 
for me, I have a... Oh no, my voice! <clears throat> I have a folder called Props. I just collect it. You know, I've been a creator for years now. So I have a folder for shortcuts. And where's the shorts? I'll pawn it. Just drag it here. Did you jump? Now we are finished with the modeling of Hress. This is exactly what I imagined. So yeah. That's it for this video for modeling Hress. I hope you learned something for, from me, Meow Mentees. And I'm very sorry for my voice. I feel like it's <clears throat> getting a little bit coarse now. So yes, as always, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye!